It is the Friday night. It's absolutely gorgeous in Liverpool. We are in Metro Cola where the sun comes through the sunroof. It is beautiful. It's great outside. Just had a lovely walk through. It's full of Taylor Swift fans. Obviously, I've got the bug as well. Nice one to Scouts Charms ever saw me out with this. It does feel alive, Liverpool, doesn't it? It certainly does, mate. Yeah, as you say, the weather always makes Liverpool. But if it's nice like this, it doesn't matter if Taylor Swift's on or not. The town's <laughs> buzzing in it. Yeah. But it's absolutely rammed as well. There's just beards everywhere with cowboy hats on and cowboy boots. As I was driving down before, I was like, what the fuck's wrong with all this traffic? And then I was just like, oh yeah, all these mad here. <laughs> Honestly, the, the, the mix of them is mad as well, from like little tiny kids to proper owl women, but they're all dressed exactly the same. <laughs> and everyone here, any woman giving shit to fellas who like go to match dressed in football kits ever again because they're all dressed like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Girl, I go to the gym with that. Girl, I go to the gym with. She didn't get tickets originally, but she got. She managed to get to one like whatever, you know. My girl, sweet, yeah, 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 one of those. But her daughter was devastated that didn't get tickets, right? So she paid 1300 quid for two tickets for her and her daughter, legit, and all that through one of these proper sites. And I was going to her, like, are you mad? Are you mad? Blah, blah, blah. And she went, shut up, you, this is my Istanbul. <laughs> <laughs> you can't argue. Fair enough, isn't it? Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm I did tell her I was 15 when Istanbul happened. They're all like, oh, yeah, my little girl's being left by. <laughs> I've seen them all year tonight, there's no kids. <laughs> there are some um, long suffering fellas going to those games as well. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. They'd the, gladly give up their tickets for the like five and a half. I there was there was loads of fellas walking up then and you could just see like the beard was fully fully rigged out and he's, like, uh, he's, sound, like, and he's got like he just he just wasn't he just didn't look like your stereotypical Taylor Swift fan because he's got so many bangers you just know he'll be off like that kid. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I'm just been with my cousin before he's come up from Cheltenham and I was like, are you looking forward to it? He was like, eh, I mean, I quite like Panama. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, later later on he'll be absolutely booming. Uh, but yeah, fair play to everybody. He's come to the city from sort of all over. Uh, but we should get going. Uh, nice one to air again for Panama. It's not just the day we're signed up for next season, which is brilliant news. Uh, great partner to work with, and we're delighted. The yeah, airing is working a while. For next season, but we do need a bit of a topic. I wasn't sure what to talk about, so I'm going to put it to a vote. Um, okay, so we've done Swifty, that's Swifty yeah. box. So we there can not more room for more Swifty now. Okay. To be fair, I don't think there's ever enough Swifty, but also mm. there seems to be a lot of content out there, doesn't he? Mm. And I don't think there's that much out there for Liverpool transfers, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I, we'll, we'll, we'll listen, we'll do a bit more Swifty at the end, um, but we should do some footy so we can do Liverpool transfers. You can do the Euros, or I don't know if you two realise, but it's 10 years since me and uh, Kev went to Brazil for the World Cup. You know what? I've not heard this story. No. It's, because, <laughs> because, because, it's, it's because we don't like talking don't about like it. Talking about yeah. it. As a one-off, we'll make an exception. You know we'll talk you through every day if, if you've you got really, seven hours. If you really want to hear the story about time, how I met my close personal friend Neymar. <laughs> right, so what a, I'd like to get it out of the way now so it doesn't come up on AFQ later, so great. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. sorry, I thought you were going to come it's up. It's like half frost, 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 frost. I've asked 14 questions about it. No, no, that, that doesn't really work. Right, I think Euros with a hint of Brazil is, is definitely my yeah. choice. So we can talk about the Euros with an idea of tournaments we've been to, and feel free to chip in. Just yeah. tournament chat, yeah. <laughs> tournament chat. How are you feeling about the Euros you're looking forward to? I mean, yeah. You have to all well, line. You haven't, you, haven't got, you haven't got into it yet, have I've you? I've had enough on. Do you know what I mean? Um, no, but I, I'm really enjoying um, pretending I'm from Scotland. Um, Celtic and countries, you have to stick yeah, together, don't yeah. you? Andy so Robbo. I'm just team, Andy Robbo, and just, just the general nation of Scotland all being in various parts of Europe that may or may not be Germany right now. That. Hilarious, like so many different, I know the, the Rory Smith one, but so many of like examples of that, of like different cities that they're not even playing in and things like that, it's just boss, isn't it? And it's like, People are like, we'll just fly to Europe and then we'll just get yeah, there. We'll sort, <laughs> it, we'll, sort <laughs> it we'll sort it out from just there. I've heard there's trains. Did you see them doing a full parade down the main street in Munich? It was just unreal. It's like. And it's like, it's, it's amazing because my fellow went in 2016 for the Euros when Ireland were in it and it was like a, a takeover oh, sure, of... you. <laughs> <laughs> All the tournaments. It was like a takeover of just like, like-minded, like really sound people who were not up for anything that was unsavoury. They were just like, you know, it's it maybe our only chance the, to do something yeah, like this. Yeah. And I think it's going to be the same for Scotland. And, you know, you, 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 you probably wouldn't be ridiculous to think that they're probably not going to make it out of the group, but it's just... You, you don't know, know now. You never know. Um, this is, uh, I think it was the way they've done the tournament. The way they've done the tournament, yeah. it's also ruined it. I think it's Portugal didn't even win a game in the group the last time, and only won two games the whole tournament and won it. So you just, you just don't know, do you? Like, I mean, Scotland's not going to win it, but they might make no. it out of the group. I'll, sorry, I'll, 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 I don't know. So it's 24 teams and then it only goes to 16. So there's 24 oh, teams yeah. and only eight of them go out. So like, you can come third. 
like Pete says, oh, like draw, like draw like three, and then like if you've got like better like goal difference or co difference <laughs> and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's so. more chances like Scotland going through. However, you just need to win one. If you win game. one game, you're through. So it's a bit yeah. of a like, if you win one game, you're through. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty nice. much guaranteed. That's yeah. that's how Northern Ireland sort of got through like four years yeah. ago, isn't it? See, do you say that about it being a bit rubbish? But it also gives countries like Northern Ireland the chance to Actually, get through. Actually, that was Northern Ireland so as well. They beat Sicily, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. just true. Mm, no, yeah. Yeah. Great rule. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I mean, I. Just, I've got no affiliation with any international team, but I do like the fact that there's a game of footy on at any point of the day. No, and yeah. you, just, you get home from work or whatever, and you just whack a game on. I do like that. Um, and it's just like that, that festival feel of it. But it's, yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to it. I, I mean, I wasn't looking forward to the World Cup as much last time, and then it ended up being the greatest World Cup final ever, wasn't it? So if there's any Somebody. games like that, then I mean, I'm all in. So. Yeah, of course. Um, the weather's nice. Not so That's nice thing, um, over the weekend, but... Who are you picking if you have to pick one then? If that, to, to win or if no, it's like your, no, like to, to favourite? To, to back. Um, I don't know, like the Germans. I'm the Germans, yeah. lads, yeah. And I got them no, in the street. I like the Germans. I like the way they simplify football. They play great football, but they just simplify. There's none of this, like... Efficient. Yeah. <laughs> and I love the fact that if you play someone crap, they're willing just to win 8-0. They don't yeah. even, you don't care. They're just relentless. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I, I love that. I'm all over the game. And Jürgen might be the manager one day too. Knows. Well, hopefully, because if he goes to another club, I might turn myself into the Mersey. So yeah. bear in mind, Jürgen. Oh, not to go back to Swifty too soon, but wasn't that really upsetting yesterday and being back for that? It's like your fellas. Like, you should just you've, stay. It's like you've split up, and, but he still wants to be mates with your mum. Yeah. Yeah. He's come to and take the like, dog for a walk. Yeah, like, and you're just like, let us get <laughs> over here. Just <laughs> let us just give us a shot and tell of getting over here. Like, but it was so no lovely. Him, him, and his, him and his heart-shaped glasses, all in a cowboy hat, or whoever was with him in his cowboy hat. They haven't, had, they haven't had the chance to do an, an Irish slot interview because Klopp's just still looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he's meant to move into his house when he won't go before you say that. After Swifty, after, after Swifty, maybe. It's like all your stuff's in boxes, love. I don't care, I'm going back. Okay, uh, more Yoros chats in a minute, uh, but yeah, here's a way from Erdinger. And Erdinger, please. Don't forget the best bit. I mean, Pete's saying that he's got no real affiliation for the team, and I'm obviously for me and you, Costa Rica are in it, so... Um, it's, so a big, it's a big blow in. <laughs> <laughs> can't cancel so it, uh, and so it as well known as so Costa Rican fans, but I like a bit of Holland, I'd like to see Virgil do well, obviously got a few there, but Vir Virgil's the captain, and I'd like, to see, I'd like to see a couple of the Liverpool players do well, and he, he feels like one where, you know, it is possible, because they've got a decent team. Yeah, I'm, I'm all on board with all of the Liverpool players doing well, except the ones who play for it. My, my hate oh, to do Not even Trent. No, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I, I don't even want Trent to do well. I just can't bear it. I just, I just, they're not right, for me I, at all. I've, I've, I'm in a bit of a, a dichotomy about this because I love all those lads, but I just hate everything else about no. it. Also, no, do you better bar, get on my tits as well? Have you seen that? The dick, <laughs> no, dude, leave them alone. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So I hope England get knocked out after one game. If that's I really love how I really love how England, <laughs> how this country is doing, what this country does best, and putting pressure on one person to win them a tournament. Have you seen that? Is yeah. it Adidas advert yeah. to Hey yeah. Jude? Yeah. The poor lad. Like, have they not learned anything from to be the fair, Orders? He's played 19 hundred games this season. <laughs> it's really, he's nearly 19. He's got to go up at some point. <laughs> <laughs> he's played about 100 games this season. Is like, it? It's just. Well, like, it, it might be time. I just feel like. It's all right to think that, but stop saying it because yeah. it just it just turns into a thing. Yeah, because then in three weeks it? it'll be like, oh, he's crap. He's we'll going to like, get the criticism. I have the same chat every um, tournament because I work in England and they all want me to, to support England and all that. And I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't hate England. I don't want them to lose. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not really bothered about them winning. But when no. they get to the semi-finals, I see all the English coming out. They're <laughs> yeah. all getting a bit heavy, and I'm like, I'm really wanting them to get beat then. But yeah. going back to Trent. If you want to see him in midfield and you you want to really assess him, he's playing against Declan Rice. We were sorry, playing alongside Declan Rice, and if, he, if he's ever going to make it in midfield, then he can't make it with Declan Rice. Is that is that shield? I am never holding any England, any Liverpool player to account for his performances in England shirt. Especially never. after Gareth Southgate. Well, Gareth Southgate's an absolute joke of a manager, but like look at John Barnes, the greatest player in world football up there with Hullet at the time. 
and he could he, like he literally he couldn't he couldn't hit a car's ass with a shovel for, for England back in them days, could he? So I'm not having sense. Gareth like, Southgate's middles for his greatest ever manager. And, it, <laughs> and fingers crossed, soon to be his Man United. meant to be a bit of a like a, a bell end as well. Isn't Steve like, Hollander, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. So he's the one who's upset Ben White. Which to be like, fair, though, like, yeah, you, yeah, I think I'd upset Ben White. You know, but apparently he's a bit weird with Trent. So, so I've read this in Pop Pitch, which isn't necessarily <laughs> the best. Uh, <laughs> the best sports so, supplements is great, though, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. So, so there you are. Apparently he's been bell into Trent, according to Pop Pitch, which I don't think is ever wrong. Well, that, that anonymous email, I guess. <laughs> Oh, maybe you can't judge it's it, but it's fire. still it's still interesting to watch, isn't it? If you're gonna if you're gonna find something interesting about England, there will be Trent in midfield if it does happen. Yeah, even against Iceland when they were all dog shit, he was by far and wide the best player on the pitch. When he came on, he was only on for 20 minutes, and he just made a difference straight away. Just no one else, you know, n- nothing happens around him. But um, I want him, I want him to do well, but not well enough that he's in anyone else's shop window. Well, like that, yeah, yeah there, like, there is that. But who's gonna be in our shop window? That's the thing for me. I'll start with you, Pete, because. I always do the thing of, oh, you can't sign a player off the back of a good tournament and then I watch some lad and go, get him, get get him. Get, why aren't we getting him? Why doesn't he play for us? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just all in. Are you a bit like that? You see someone playing well, you're like, buy him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it goes back to like all those years ago, Patrick Bergen, wasn't it? In the order of 96. It was just like, you couldn't wait to get him. Um, Carol Mavorsi went to United, didn't yeah, he? Yeah. He was another one. Well, that Czech team come out of nowhere in a way that like doesn't really happen now, does it? You pretty you know much know everyone. everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you pretty much know everyone. And obviously the tournament hasn't, hasn't happened yet, has it? So it's really difficult to answer that one. But I don't know. I'll, I'll be definitely, I'll be, I'll, I'll be looking out with me, me Arna slots, me, me, me well, um, Arna's. The, the, well, the Dutch players that make you sort of think that, don't because I know it doesn't always work out like that, but quite often a manager will sort of, because he knows the Dutch players and he yeah. might sort of have a little look. So I'll be taking the that key. That man is as injured, isn't he? Which is a bit of a shame. Like, well, shame for him, definitely. Yeah, well, Dan, he's, he's going to events. Is he not going it's to events? It's not sorted yet, so. I do, but the only thing is when, when Jürgen came, um, there was a lot of Dortmund chat, wasn't there? About he's going to bring this player, he's going to bring that player. And what I find in a strength of the manager is he doesn't go to where he always knows. He, he, he sees yeah. the, the bigger market. Yeah. And, Honestly, he knows well, Liverpool's a step up as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's probably so. going to go, nah, nah, I've got Mo Salah now, don't worry yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry yeah. about that bum. <laughs> so it's a, it's a massive step up. He's got a different category of players that, he, that he'll be looking at. And I don't really want him, I mean, unless it's an absolute diamond that, in the rough that he, he, he's, he's seen already. I don't really want him to be going back and getting this player or getting that player. I want to see what, I don't want to see Fabio Brini coming in the door. Yeah, that's type of thing. Yeah. That's, yeah. Or to be honest, I'm not even sure the man's going to have that much of a say on it because they've made a big deal out of being the head coach, haven't they? So they have, and, 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 and that was really um, something that was, like it was coming, gathering momentum for a few weeks, but when they actually named them as the head coach officially, it did really strike a chord. But well, Jürgen on the pitch after after the final game of the season. Correct himself, did Yeah, well, yeah. it, it felt a little, I felt that that was, a pointed bar, like a, a bar a comment, yeah. But I, 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 I just don't feel like he made that mistake. And I, oh, I, think, I think he was a bit like, no, this, like, he's now going to be their coach. And I don't think Jürgen necessarily agrees with that. And I don't necessarily agree with it myself. I think we're a club who need a figurehead of a manager. And listen, if Slot wins himself the Premier League in the first year, you can put Michael Edwards in, in the car and drive him wherever he wants himself, couldn't he? So we, we've got the power as fans that if Slot's good enough, we'll make him the godlike figure that we want him to be. But I, don't, I just don't think that's what the uh, the club is too interested in. I think they want him to look. We've got these players. They want the continuity, don't yeah. they? It's also just a cautious position to start with, isn't it? To be like, well, just let him deal with what he needs to deal with for now, because there's someone else who can deal with the other stuff. And if he, I think Klopp was probably not not dissimilar in the beginning, where it's like it took time for him to show his influence and to show that he, you know, he had he had something to say and something. He always knew he had something to say, but he, had, you know, he was worth listening to in, yeah. in that sense, and it, it built up over time. And I think that was the issue with Michael Edwards, wasn't it? Was that he probably became more influential in terms of the who, who was listened to or who yeah. had more sway. And who's to say that won't happen again? I don't know. I was well, to say if, if it does happen, it's because he's been brilliant. Yeah, exactly. successful. But at the same time, I, I remember Guardiola. Well, obviously, Cruyff changed the football near Barcelona. You had Guardiola, and since Guardiola, you've sports, you've had the same style of football continuing with Barcelona, they've always had that attacking um, tiki tack of football and it, they've still got that success all, over all that period of time. With Liverpool, in the 90s you went away from that passing style, you went with Gerard Diolle, then you had Rafa Benitez, you had a combination of styles. It was only attacking football when he came back, when Kenny Daglish came through the door and Brendan Rodgers then took her on a bit. You want to make sure that the philosophy is still the same at Liverpool, no matter who the, the manager or head coach comes in. And I think the title, yeah, it's a bit strange, but at the same time, disruption needs to be right. And if disruption's right moving forward, 
weird always for me at Liverpool. I'm not really bothered about Arna Slotter than the next guy. It needs to continue playing the attacking football because I don't want to go back to to a different style. I mean, you you could have said bring Jose Mourinho in and maybe you'd win a trophy or whatever, but it'd be completely yeah, different. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you can have a manager in that sense, but you really want to make sure that you you the structure and the foundations are in place moving forward that way. And I think there's also an element of him doing whatever it takes for him to go, I'm not Jürgen Klopp and I'm not a Jürgen Klopp impersonator, so I'm just going to come in and do get my the own thing, get players. the best out of them, and then I, just I'm not an impersonator, I'm not trying to be a tribute act to someone you That's all love. Because if, if, he, if he was, I'm not saying it would be, because you know people are cleverer than that, but if it was to be the same title, he might, they might be like, oh, well, he, he didn't do this and he didn't do that. I don't think it'd be like that. I think that, that's why he hasn't done an interview yet as well. I think they've, um, they've been tackled. I can't say. What's, what's he going to say? I think say? they've been tackled because obviously the, the longer the period is, the, even the media, they've toned down because mm. everyone's getting bored of Jürgen Klopp chat really in the sense of, oh yeah, he's gone. They've done all the newspapers. They've done all the Sky Sports. They've done everything. I was all right until yesterday. Yeah, two months <laughs> later, they announced the new guy. It's, it's, it's diffused the situation. Mm. Yeah. No, there will be a direct comparison. There always will be. There'll be three months into the season. There'll be a direct comparison. But it's not like day one. After the, too, the last yeah. day. Yeah, it's Hopefully, it's that fucking Jürgen shake compared to this. Fingers crossed, Anyway, uh, cheers, enjoy your weekend. Off the Swifties, off the Reds. <laughs>